What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. We are kicking off 2022 with a round today at Sylvan Glen. I played here March 5th, 2022. I don't know when you'll watch this. I know Where's you that? saw the title. It was like almost 40 minutes I long. Feel you killed it, man. Number one, it's 18 holes. And I don't have a shot At tracer, least I thought you so killed it. The shots that aren't on the green are definitely going to be slower. I'm going to be taking you through them a little bit more detail. I'm The reason I don't have shot tracer, my phone is currently maxed out on storage. And um, I do not want to impede my phone from being able to capture some very nice courses coming up that I have planned. Although I will say I did play with a very skilled golfer. This is Kevin... And he is a plus two handicap. He played for Lawrence Tech from 2017 to 2020. And he was their number two player. So this guy can absolutely smash the ball. He hits it a mile. He's about 50 yards ahead of me right now as I hit my first pitching wedge of the year. And it is a terrible one. And boy, oh boy, we are going to start off in a very tough little predicament here. It hits the bank of compacted snow. And now we are taking a penalty drop. Fourth shot, not even on the green yet. Yeah, I played... Um, this was the first day that the course opened for the year. Um, I actually was planning on playing Maple Lane because I wanted to break 80 there because I still haven't for some reason, even though I know I can. But they were closed when I got there. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if Sylvan's open because I was really hankering to play today. I just got back from the first half of my first semester at my new school. More on that in the next video. Um, I'm going to kind of give an overview of what's to come in 2022 in the next video. Uh, some stats that I've compiled together. There's a good putt to save the bogey. Yeah, we did not want to start off the year with a double bogey, let me tell you that much. And as I was getting up to the ball, the green behind me, I could feel some ice in like an aeration hole right behind my ball, and it was messing with my address so bad. So I kind of had to hover the putter, and especially on a six foot, seven foot putt where you're trying to save bogey, you get real shaky over those. Those are the kind of the 50-50 uh, balls right there. Uh, well, they shouldn't be, but that just ends up what happens is you make those about 50% of the time. That time I made it definitely a great way to start off the round. Um, kind of a g great up and down after the penalty stroke. This hole, I almost take another penalty stroke, but not quite. We made it over. Um, I actually went into that snow pile there. I dropped behind the tree. I don't know why. Kind of because I didn't want to have the trees on the right in my way. And I know I couldn't get closer to the hole, and then that happens. <sighs> I'm so stupid. I could have dropped diagonally left, but I don't know. It was just, I was flustered. I was trying to catch up with my group mates. Uh, another guy joined us. I don't remember his name, though. Sorry, sorry, dude. He was a good player, though. He had those new Shrixen oh, divide dude, balls, the good. ones that are two different colors. His putting was super good. I think those balls do really help you line up your putting. Again, bad shot interrupting what I was saying. What else is new? That happened a lot in 2021, right? Yeah, I kind of found myself in a little bit of a hole on that third shot just because the ground is so patchy. And if you listen closely there, back up five seconds, I don't know, I don't know. trying to bump it up the slope, you could hear it like the ground was rock hard when I hit it, when the ball first hit the bank, and um, it just killed all of the momentum. Cause I, When I hit that ball, I thought it was going to be really good. 
And then the good old race, the bogey putt by. Another bad start at Sylvan. What else is new, guys? All right, so this is for double. Um, it's about eight feet uphill, pretty straight. Nicely done. Two for two on the putts today. If nothing else is going to save us today, that is it on these inconsistent greens this time of year. Sylvan Glen does have pretty nice greens, I would say. Um, they run at about a 10 usually, I would say. And there is a 10 out of 10 drive. First boom drive of the 2022 golf season. We absolutely smashed that 290 yards down the left side of the fairway. That is what we like to see. And it was slightly into the wind as well. So absolutely well done shot there. So hoping to take advantage. And we hit this one even worse than on the first hole. Hits. A root over there bounces even further right. Yeah, as you can see, I was way off. I mean, I didn't... Like, that was... Oh, my gosh. I don't know what it is, guys. Maybe it's because I've gained a little bit of weight over the summer. Um, or I don't know what else it is. But I'm not turning through the ball as of right now as you're watching this a chip that just does not stop and rolls into a super wet spot right next to a snow bank here kind of a little hill to chip over as you can see it kind of the fringe kind of rises up on the right side of your screen but i judge this one very well and we give ourselves another chance to salvage a bogey which on this hole sometimes is a win honestly I mean, the wind was, the wind didn't pick up really until the back nine. It was pretty calm early in the round, I would say. So, another good putt. Three for three on the putts. That one was like 10 feet. So, we're staying alive with our putter, that's for sure. Hey, I, at college, I really haven't been able to play golf much. There is a simulator in the building that uh, my some of my classes are in. So, well, will be in because I'm beginning my sophomore year. I'll start taking classes in the PGA Management Building. Again, more on stuff later. I want to really stay focused on just kind of where my game is heading into this round because my goal today, I really didn't have that really high hopes today. I mean, it was 36 when I got there. It was frigid. It didn't get up any higher than really 42 degrees by the end of the round. The entire round was pretty cold. Um, on a 6,700-yard course, playing in 40 degrees is like playing a 7,100-yard course, honestly, most of the time. Um, so that doesn't stop us from getting on the green and two on four. First time on hole number four this year, albeit 15 yards forward because there's some snow on the uh, backside of the tee box. But we still hit a great shot, driver, then six iron to the back of the green, and then a long lag putt. That one doesn't go all that well. I got about five feet left here, and I just pull this. It was hit well. I read it correctly. I just pulled it. I hate when I do that. Normally, if it's going from left to right, I'll push it. But, hey, at least I'm bucking a trend that I don't like. I may be replacing it with a tr another trend I don't like, but at least it's not the same persistent problem. So um, off to hole number five here. This hole can ruin a round all, after all the hard work on the first four holes because one, two, and three are not easy. Four's usually not too bad. 
I can par that one probably 80% of the time. And uh, But one, two, and three, four over through three holes, that's not uncommon. Um, I've gone as high as six over in the past two years, so at least it wasn't that today. Although we may be going six over through five, though, as we head to the right, and there's some marshland over the there, and yep, that's where we went. I hit that five wood so good, too. I thought I might be able to carry it, because as you can see on the right side of your screen, the... Um, the uh, grass outside of the hazard does come back around. And I really did smash that 5-wood. And I, I half expected to to find it in the hazard. And I have actually I played out than I thought hazard before at this time of year. Um, obviously, in the summer, I can't do it. But this time of year, it is a possibility that you can hit a shot at it there. Unfortunately, I did not get that luck. And then I absolutely wimp out on this putt. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't a... I mean, I, I got kind of back into the hole with a decent enough wedge shot, but then I just squander it with a probably three putt coming up, although I have made three putts outside of six feet today, but not this one. And we're six over through five holes on our first round of the year. And now I get to a problem that uh, was persistent all day to different to differing degrees, but this tee box was absolutely rock hard. And um, on a hole like this one where you want to keep it straight, because I have actually heard... And, I, and I've learned this from Jim Furyk. The lower you tee your ball, the straighter it'll go. This was teed up super high, a full ball probably above the top of my club face just because I couldn't get a tee in the ground and I didn't want to hit a three-wood off the deck. So um, that one actually went really well. I hit it absolutely perfect. I kind of backed up an inch compared to... Um, my normal driver and it worked out super well and I hit an absolute bomb right down the left side of the fairway just trickled into the rough but this time of year going that far off the fairway is never going to be a bad lie <sighs> I might get a bad lie out of this one though with another weak push to the right with a wedge and as you can see a little bit of an anger swing there as I'm trying to tell myself to turn through the ball um, so this is a very tough chip shot here. The flag, you can't even see it. The flag was knocked over on this hole. Mm, he is just chips this it, absolutely not. butchering this hole. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just dumped it in the bunker. And this day, ice was in basically every bunker, so... On the tee, they just told us, don't play out of the bunkers today. So, um, I mean, when it's that much ice in the bunker and probably under the sand too, I mean, how are you going to hit a bunker shot out of that? So I drop it behind the bunker. I hit a very nice chip shot this time, though. Hopefully the start of a trend that we all know and love, good chipping from last year so we were able to get that one to within about three feet um he tapped kevin tapped it back to me uh for the bogey so we're in it a five on that hole <sighs> this time with a five iron on number seven i push it way to the right i was on, on i was aimed I over there i always do here. aim at the cluster of trees on the right just because I never want to hook it into the creek on the left. I always do try to hit a draw shot on this hole, and it, this was kind of a double cross. Oddly enough, though, I hit it super good, um, and um, we stayed alive. We're actually on 8T right now hitting the shot down to the green. It's not bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. About 25 feet here. 
there's a group right behind us. I uh, didn't film those two putts, um, right again. but I got a two putt. So another bogey. Um, I honestly, I was kind of lucky to get out of there with a bogey. Um, with how bad that tee shot was, but hey, the long iron striking is something that got much better last year, and so far it's translated into the this year. I mean, we're one for one. Make that one for two. Uh, I hate when I do that on this hole. Oh one time gosh. I don't squirt it right. Just what do I do? I try it. over the marshland. We all know how tough eight can be. Go up to the drop zone. I know it's not marked with the white line around it, but um, as you can see, there's a yardage marker that says 42, and uh, th those black and white yardage markers, th those are only for drop zones on this course. If you ever played Sylvan Glen, you'd know that um, you see those on, like, number 10, number um, 7, number 8, number 9. <sighs> Last hole's bogey was lucky, but there is nothing lucky about this amazing chip shot. Well, this is more of a pitch this time. But nonetheless, a beautiful shot to get back into this hole a little bit. Going to end up taking a wedge worthy here. Got ourselves in for bogey. Deciding to drive you guys up here to show you where it ended up. And there's a birdie for Kevin. All smiles on this hole, right? Hopefully the tides are turning as he absolutely nails that putt from the back edge of the green hits such a great tee shot to get back there by the way plus two handicap everybody yeah he's really good hopefully we can get to that point though the way i see it yeah as you can see the the whole the holes many of them are full of ice so um yeah actually on this next hole the putt that goes in for me hops back out of the hole because of the ice so um yeah a bunch of the flags just got snapped out of the holes just because they haven't cut him in forever um i mean because the green is under five inches of snow half the winter so um definitely a tough chip there to judge from the drop zone but i hit it very well and then this drive on nine one of my better ones this one goes about 255 into a pretty strong wind. The wind started kicking up Can I make a four iron towards the back here? nine. A five too much and I don't so um, hit a five hitting a four iron seven. here from 188. Plan, so I am Definitely worried about thinning this or chunking this into the creek short. I almost went with a five wood, but with how soft the ground is, a chunk with a wood is not going to produce anything better than a chunk with an iron and we do pull it off this is a much better four iron this one is um this one gets onto the fringe here absolutely excellent shot two great shots on nine perfectly down the middle of the fairway i'm usually n nervous as can be even just talking about nine but this th this particular day no no, no, no. This time we play this hole almost perfectly. Fairway in regulation, about six inches away from the green in regulation, and two putts for par. Kevin's blocking the hole here. But, uh, yeah, the ice made it hop back out, but um, it went down. They called it in. It was only like four feet anyway. So 45 on the front, uh, not a good front, but um, not a bad finish, though. So hopefully we can take some momentum into the back. Two out of seven fairways, three penalties, 14 putts. Yeah, as I said in the beginning of this video, this is going to be an 18-hole golf vlog, so it does not stop here. You can go ahead and take a break and watch this tomorrow if you want. Um, I know you guys didn't want to see a 40-minute video, but again... I'm trying to upload this round, even though I kind of don't want to when I hit shots like that. Um, so that I can make some space on my phone for some great courses coming up that you guys are going to see. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know when you're gonna see him in the next month. I can promise you that. You'll see some super nice down south courses um, in the next month or so. So um, here we are in number ten. Hit my tee shot way to the right. I don't know about a hundred yards right, like announcer guy was saying, but it certainly felt like it. And then I hit this bump and run that hits a oh dead branch this is, this is on the ground, kills the rollout, and now we've got a tough short-sided chip going over a raised little fringe, green sloping from back right to front left. Where am I? Off the back right. So this was a super difficult chip shot. <sighs> I love it. I love watching. Speechless. Just took my breath away, that shot. Oh, yeah, guys. Another wedge worthy. How many of those have we had today? Two up till now. Hopefully some more to come. Decided to show you a little bit of Kevin here. This hole was playing downwind. Um, 434 par, 411th. Usually plays very long. Today it wasn't too bad, but he still rips this. And that's where he's headed, just a little bit wide of it, but this ball appears to be hammered. You hit that over here. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely so crunched. Unbelievable. How he can do how he can hit it that far. Plus two handicap. Yeah, he's got that. I mean, did you see that downswing and those shoulder turn? That was some speed right there oh my goodness oh my gosh had to add the bryson dechambeau sixth at bay hill audio in there for you it honestly did carry about 340 yards after it was all said and done mine carried about 280 bounced up the right side a little bit we got ourselves um a little less than 140 in got ourselves a pitching wedge Going to try to really turn through this one. Golden opportunity to score well on a very difficult hole, and we're going to have a chance. Very nice shot. I don't know if you heard me say that's a little better, Ben. Um, but that's what I said right after I hit that shot. Beautiful shot right to the center of the green. As, as to be expected, this hole is always in the back of the green. I almost never, I think I've seen it in the front once in my entire life i've seen it in the middle like three times and then the front once this hole is almost always in the back of the green i don't get it um it's super uphill as you can see putting from the angle that breaks quite a bit i mean the whole slopes straight from back to front so being on the left side of the green obviously is going to break way left to right with i mean that that is i mean you guys remember the eighth hole at woodside meadows that green is maybe a half a notch less crazy honestly but we're in for par nonetheless got to keep that one below the hole at all times i remember last year i had a six foot putt that lipped out you you guys never saw this one I had a six-foot putt on number 11 downhill that lipped out, and then it rolled 20 feet past the hole. 22-0 feet past the hole, I kid you not, and it was absolutely infuriating. This drive was pretty infuriating as well as this was another frozen tee box where I couldn't get a tee in the ground. This time it led to a pop fly. This three-wood... I get this one up very high, very fast, way overcook the fade, though. This is just a straight-up slice, but um, honestly, I probably should have used a 5-wood. I mean, the ground is inconsistent as this. You can't ever really rely on a 3-wood, um, especially in the rough. I mean, it's hard to call this rough, but... Um, it still is soft and will take a lot of steam out of your ball. As opposed to the fairways that are probably a little bit hard still from all the ice. I'll tell you what, I had a okay, lot of rollout on this day. It sometimes like it was, it was a good okay. thing, sometimes it was a bad thing. This time, 
is definitely a bad thing. I hit this shot about pin high. Normally I'd have enough spin to stay at least on the back edge of the green. But obviously with a hole this frozen, this, this hole is actually at the bottom of a sled hill in the winter. They use the 13th as like the top of a sled hill. And the 12th green is kind of the bottom of the hill. So um, this green is always covered in snow at this time of year. At least this time a little bit. There is nothing cold, nothing icy about that hot chip shot. Oh my gosh, guys. It's too bad you couldn't see the pin or the hole there. Had a little bit of an audience cheering me on there. I don't know if you could hear not, them. Can't say the same for the Sabres. I kept the clapping sound effect out this time. Yeah, as you can see, look at all the snow once I get to the top of the hill. Still a bunch on the left side there. Both bunkers just straight up ice rinks. Yeah, can't see any sand. Most bunkers honestly were like that today. I'm honestly lucky that they opened. But hey, we're taking advantage of our luck. We've hard two of the hardest holes on the course. 11 and 12 are handicap holes 2 and 6, respectively. This is handicap hole 4. Hole 13, 444 yards. Always a tough hole. Lake on the right that you can't see. Although, you really got to hit a pretty bad slice in order to end up down there. But, um... Nowhere near that danger today. Perfect drive down the left side of the fairway. Still got ourselves 191 yards in because it's into the wind today. As I was saying, the wind was kicking up as the day went on. I decided to hit the four iron again. This shot is even better than the one on nine. Oh my goodness. Got a great kick off the downslope right in front of the green. Up. Golden yeah, as you can see, it kind of goes down out, and folks. then back up. Oh my. Right where I'm standing probably right now. What a shot into 13. Is where it hit. Wow. Um, so, then rolled up to about 25, 30 feet short here. Great birdie putt. Great opportunity here right to left. You know, that's my favorite. Uh, ah, I just underread it a little bit. But that's okay. Par on this hole is absolutely excellent. Three straight pars on handicap holes, two, six, and four. We're getting back into this round. As crazy as it may be to say, as up and down as this round may have been so far, plus 10 on Sylvan Glen, a 73.4 rating course. And with how easy 16 and 18 can be, this is actually a semi-decent round. I would say. Um, I think I had a vlog. I think it was 27 and 28. I was, I believe I was 10 over through um, 13 holes that day as well. And uh, that day, my swing was beautiful. That day, I was doing a lot of things right. Go back to that vlog. Definitely another one of my favorites for sure. Um, and now on this 14th, I mean, this isn't a great position, but no obstruction with trees, not a bad lie in the rough, um, not a tough pin from this angle. We could, we could par all four holes on the stretch of 11 through 14, guys. We could do this. A little bit of a weak push fade there, albeit not quite as bad as many today. This is definitely um, not a terrible shot. I mean, it wasn't quite as bad as I was making it out to be, but definitely um, just one of those things where it's just been a persistent problem today, and I just get frustrated when I see it. This was a very tough chip shot. As you can see, there's a little bit of a hill between my ball and the flag kind of a little bit of a ridge that drops off um this is just a turtle back green all the way around and um this was a very tough little putt um honestly i thought i hit my chip shot very well but i just caught that uh wrong side of the ridge just barely i was maybe a foot or so away from um getting another tap in wedge worthy but instead 
we have our toughest six seven footer of the day yet to par all four holes on handicap hole stretch two six four eight That was super tough. Oh, back to my original line, too. Dang it! I liked that putt. I really liked that putt when it left my face. I thought it was going to be perfectly in the middle, and it just didn't break as much as I thought it would um, to uh, the left from my angle. It was a right-to-left putt. Almost, guys. Still, though, cannot be mad at that stretch of four holes. We got ourselves, if not back into um, a place where we can break 80, then maybe something a little bit more doable. Maybe like an 81 or an 82 is definitely still in play. Although not when you hit shots like that. I was honestly lucky where this ball ended up. I um, thought for sure it had rolled behind this tree, and behind this tree, not too far, maybe 15 feet to the left of the screen, is uh, some fescue, and um, I have ended up in there before and have had to take a penalty a few times, so um, I'm definitely used to this spot on this hole. I end up over here quite often. I don't know why, it just sets up weird to my eye, I guess. But let me tell you what, there is nothing lucky about this chip shot right here. Absolutely. Well, this is more of a pitch shot. Again, a long little a chip pitch chip shot, shot where I get it to basically that tap in mess. distance. I mean, on a green this you know with this much shrapnel and snow on it, I'm just going to take this. It's winter. It's March. The green's wow. full of snow. Wow. Chipping is Nobody looking really great, guys. Chipping like is looking straight. absolutely wonderful so far. There we go. That was a huge three. Definitely, in my opinion, the hardest par three on the back nine. And we recover very nicely to get ourselves a unlikely par heading into the 16th hole at plus 11. And um, I'm thinking, well, 10 overs and 81, I can definitely still do that if nothing else. So That's not I was very upset when this ball came up on the wrong side this of This is March in Michigan, there, folks. As you guys are gonna see in a minute. Traversing over the ice. This walk is a bit icy. It's pretty solid still. Oh, yeah. I just hit the soft spot, but yeah. First round of the year and a little bit of snow here and there. This is probably the most snow on the course still. We still got a pretty manageable chip up. Thought I'd traverse you through the snow there. Yeah, definitely still a lot of snow on this course the day that I played and um, all around the big old hills, all around uh, the dense woods perimeter stuff like that so this chip did not roll out nearly as much as i thought it would all my chip shots were rolling out quite well today i um better than i thought for sure obviously i got some bite on a few of them but i mean those are the longer ones like number seven and number 15 they checked up pretty good but um i mean the shorter chips like this I didn't have a chip that stopped this quickly all day. But when I get up there, I realize there's almost a river behind this pin, as you can see right there. Very oh. saturated ground all throughout this screen. And um, I'm actually getting a little bit of water inside my shoes as I'm standing there. And as you can see, <sighs> do not fight me. That I, We were in for bogey. Come on, that was six inches. Um, but yeah, it, it like was real slimy over there, real squishy over there. 
I didn't want to stand on there too long or I thought I might damage the green. Um, like permanently make a crater in it. So, um, definitely a little bit of, um, course management error there. I mean, I've played this course so many times and I should know that the last three holes on this course finish in the lower altitude of the course. And I, I should know that having squishy greens like this, especially in this time of the year is a big possibility. And, um, I, that, that was, that was on me for that bogey right there. And that was a good putt too. I gave it a little extra pep to, uh, make sure it got through that slow green and oddly enough it rolled pretty consistent to the rest okay. of the greens today so um almost got that par but not quite we got a chance to get it back though after two excellent shots on 17 yeah this hole was playing a little bit downwind today as you can see the flags aren't whipping around as much um the wind kind of died down as the round um came to an end but from hole 8 to hole 14, I would say it was pretty windy. So, um, definitely um, One more for still not happy that I'm not going to have a downwind par 5 because I really wanted that birdie and didn't quite get it. That time it was another short putt, again, probably a little bit slower compared to a green, say, like number 3 or number 2 or number six greens that are higher up on the course again that's something i should have accounted for but you know in the heat of the moment we're three over on this back nine all we need here is a bogey to break 40 and um after that tee shot i am not going for this green and two and um i end up in a very poor lie here um my ball was I mean, the grass is real patchy along these hills sometimes, and as you can see there, I just chunk the living crap out of it. It was below my feet. The ball was in a hole, and I really kind of... should have took it out of that mud. Did the old... Try, try to do the old knifey three-quarter swing setup, kind of like I did on two. That time, I chunk it. So this is definitely a longer layup than we wanted, although it's still very doable it's only 155 i've got an eight iron in hand i hit this to the right a little bit not terrible but um certainly not what we were looking for um the creek does kind of um dip down and then back around sort of the screen like if you know what i mean like, if you look at, like, it's the further right or the further left you go from the center on this hole, the further you have to carry it. It wasn't bad enough to really flirt with the water, although my chip shot was short and then my putt comes up short. That's a shame, too, because that was right in the jaws and another bad 18th hole. Finishing off with an 84, which is honestly not bad um, on a day like today. So, taking a look at the card here for you, 84, 45, 39 back nine, absolutely stellar back nine. The, instantly, the highlight of the day was 11, 12, 13, and 14, that four-hole stretch. I have never played those four holes better. Um, I don't even think in my 75, I shot one over on those four. I'd have to go back and see. I may have the, one over... Maybe a tie, it may be a record for me by one. I don't know. I've played this course so many times. There are probably rounds that I don't even know I played that I still have the cards from, from this course. But, um, A, 84, yeah, that's not a great score, but on this course, it's still a single-digit handicap round, oddly enough. Right now, I'm sitting at a 7.7 .7 handicap, um with um slope adjustments i mean with everything an 84 minus 73.4 do the math that's 10.6 multiplied by 113 divided by 123 that's how you calculate a differential um that's a 9.74 differential so only two over my handicap and 
oftentimes your handicap is not your average score. It's more like two strokes below your average score. So today was not a bad round. This was kind of right where I'm at most of the time. And especially, I I mean, when you factor in the fact that it was March and I hadn't played golf in two months and the course had snow all over it, it honestly was probably an above average performance, um, which I'm, I'm thrilled to say that, you know, this is better than my round to start out 2021 back when I played Pipestone, I shot an 85. That was a 70.1131. So that's more like a 12 and a half with the slope rating and everything. Um, I can't do quick math. I don't have the time either. This video is getting super long. Um, but yeah, I think it's like 12.6. But yeah, this is def- this was definitely a better round. The swing looked so much better. Oh my god, go back to Pipestone. See how bad my swing was. It oh my gosh, I can barely watch that video without like thinking that just watching it is going to make my swing worse again cuz I'm just yeah, it's so bad. Yeah, I mean, oh my gosh. I'm glad I'm glad those days are over. Let me tell you that much. The swing honestly looked great today. The only thing that I was really struggling with was turning through the ball with enough um with enough rotation to get that club back to square, especially on the irons. With the driver in woods, most of the time I was doing just fine. Um but uh, for some reason the irons I just could not close the face. Three penalties, definitely something that's going to hurt you. Four out of 13 fairways, four out of 18 greens. Those numbers are mediocre at best. Then again, the 29 putts definitely helps. How many one putts did I have? I had I had nine one putts. Look at that. Half of the holes one putting. If only I could do that with a day where I shot greens and regulation and fairways hit more often too. I mean, goodness, that could have been another 75 which is my record at this course. Um, We do probably have a long way to go to get back to that point, but um, today was definitely a good start. I'm glad that I got out. I'm glad I was able to scratch that golf itch. Um, Coming home from college, oh my gosh. So next video, probably just going to be kind of a, a yearly overview, what's to come in 2022 type of thing, what my plans are for this channel, uh, what what I'm doing with school, how it relates to golf, um, and such things. So that'll probably be the next video you guys see from me. Um, if you guys want me to answer some questions that you may have, go ahead and fire in the comments on this video. If I can make it a little bit of a Q&A too. Um, such things like that. But um, anyway, this video is getting super long. I need to leave. I need to get up really early tomorrow, and it's almost 11 p.m. as I'm filming this. All right, guys. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off for the first time in 2022. Here's to a great year, everyone.